This is a nuki round on Funky Station, which is, I believe, a goob fork. I'm not 100% sure. I have not played on Funky yet, but I was sent this replay in an email out of all places, so I figured it must be worth looking at. This is the outpost, the nuki outpost from TG. I don't know what other servers use it. Um, I don't know if the doors, you have to pay for them like in uh, 13. I mean, there's even a Mauler chassis. I don't know what is all developed here, but seeing the 13... Uh, TG outpost is a little bit of like a whiplash. I had to even think about what I was looking at. Uh, I don't know who is the commander because they don't have their armor on. I don't know how exactly it works. It's not like Wisden in that regard. So I've skipped ahead. We're about 14 minutes in. They are doing a very traditional locker ops. They have landed on the giant chapel on Marathon Station. There's not often people here, but they have a person disguised as a clown carrying the whole team of Nukies in an oxygen locker. Uh, I have seen this before. It's very classic. It's probably been happening since the day Nukies were invented in Space Station 13. So we'll see what happens. The fact that there are five Nukies means that the station should be relatively populated. Unless Funky has changed uh, the way these types of things work. Also, the fact that they're named Eurist makes them look like they're an admin event. So that could fool people if anyone manages to see them talk. But I don't think that's going to be... A real problem, the fact that they're still a debug name. Captain is just already right there. Of course, out of all the people on the station they run into, they run into the fucking captain. This, how, how lucky is that? On this rather large station, they manage to run into the captain, not even next to a department, just in a hall. And... The captain actually got a quite a few steps away, but there's just nothing you can do when they reveal themselves right on top of you. Uh, multiple, I'm guessing that's just the elite suit, the black suit, uh, juggernaut suit. It looks like you can crawl on this server as well. One lone security officer with a disabler getting some return fire uh, from the northern hall as well, but that pistol not going to be very effective against an L6. This officer is doing a really good job of juking them out. If they just landed the disabler shots a little bit quicker, they probably could have killed that juggernaut suit, but there's only so much you can do. Red alert was called pretty much instantly. The AI is actively watching, most likely going to try to cut off the nukies, but usually when the nukies get the disc like that immediately it's really bad for the crew because they lose the laser they get all access oh the nukies can also buy double bladed energy swords i don't know if they're nerfed or not so i can't really comment on it but it does not look like it they're swinging incredibly fast interestingly though they are deciding to re-enter the locker but i don't think they're aware the ai is watching them um not sure if the ai is going to call out that they're back in the locker um, I'm looking in chat for it. They're just stating the AI has only stated that the clown is with the Nukies, but not that they are retreating or that they're going anywhere. Um, I'm assuming they're just going back to their nuke with the disc. Also not entirely sure what they're complaining about. So yeah, uh, the jug suit was left behind. They're very low on health, uh, based off what uh, they're saying. They do have some... Oh, that's a space pen. Uh, they might be able to take out more officers. They are in a pretty decent spot to not get caught. But the rest of the team has moved back to their ship. And <laughs> just seeing seeing someone say that... The, seeing a Nuki say the other Nuki is cooked is like... Takes me out of it a little bit, but it is LRP. I have no idea what's happening here. I just happen to be spectating... Somebody killing the mime janitor person with a botany or clown bag. I can't even tell. That's apparently just over now. I don't know what that was. The Nukies have gone back and grabbed their nuke. And it looks like they're probably just going to plant it right in the middle of this little garden area in uh, the church. This is somewhat of a brutal area to plant it because there is a lot of glass and the crew... Still should have their access to lasers, which lets them shoot through the windows really easily. I mean, I suppose two of them are, are in elite suits, which if they're not untouched on this server, they are pretty resistant to lasers, but not invincible. The jug suit is still going. He is getting beat to death by due to the mop. Uh, yeah, mop does not beat L6, so. Benefit of planning in the chapel is, is that it's pretty much a one-way trip. You 
practically have to go through here unless you want to get an EVA suit with the proper access to flank through one of the space doors. The jug suit is still just in this like Mexican standoff at evac with people just kind of staring at him through windows. I don't know if they're like waiting for uh, them to make a mistake or not, but it seems like they did kill another security officer. All right, it is now publicly known that the bomb is in the chapel, so expect a uh, counter push. The entire security army is untouched, cargo's untouched. The Nukies only went straight for the captain and straight for planning, so this gives the crew a great chance to fight back. And honestly, those are my favorite rounds. I love the huge crew versus Nuki battles. Uh, I mean, right now I am just watching a lone jug, but that person has a disabler. They could disable that juggernaut with it. They're going to try. Juggernaut is apparently running low on ammo. They're getting surrounded. Stun baton. Eating multiple. Ah, oh, they just got absolutely overwhelmed. They didn't really leave much equipment behind, though. There's some form of a crew push counter attack going on here. I think that was even the captain that got revived. A lot of these guys are really heavily armored again because their armor is untouched. Cargo's untouched. Great, great counter pushes from the crew, forcing these Nukies in every single direction possible. Bullets flying from, again, every direction possible. They got really lucky with this reflex there. They would have been... Oh, never mind. An engineer cleaned it up anyway. This reflex didn't matter. Well, those two Nukies just got absolutely obliterated by a massive crew counter push. So now we're down to just two Nukies. They are spacing it, and it does seem like uh, one of the people pushed past to counterattack it, but it looks like they got killed relatively painlessly. Uh, some auto injectors going off. I don't know what spacing damage is like, but it seems like people are mostly still ignoring it, so it might be vanilla. Uh, Hop is going for a disarm while the rest fight the uh, Nukies. Uh, maybe spacing is more damaging on here. They're not able to defuse it without a hard suit. It was a good try, though. We are down to just one Nuki. The crew is very, very armed and pissed. Uh, yeah, the last person is going to have an elite suit, but all these windows uh, did end up becoming a huge problem. They didn't really have anything set up to deal with the funnel. Um, it was really just two Nukis fighting the funnel and then two other Nukis fighting those who sprinted past. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. The crew... Had that's so confusing to me laying down and diffusing. It looks like they're dead. If you don't see the do after bar floating 10 feet above their head, it doesn't look like uh, it looks like they're just dead there, but they are not. Space Wind thankfully didn't suck them away from it, but I guess they weren't the one opening the door. Uh, that is it. That was a very fast, like locker slash blitz ops type operation, swiftly put down by the entire crew pretty much. Uh, that was really cool to watch, though, seeing the slight differences between the servers is always interesting. Uh, seeing the Nuki planet and the ship is also really awesome. Uh, anyways, yeah, this is Funky Station. Uh, feel free to go check them out, and thank you guys for watching.